Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my behind the scenes for my Sword Art Online video. This is one of four videos I recently shot out in Wyoming with my friend Landon Donahoe. Landon is an awesome videographer and director and I've worked with him on a lot of different videos in the past so it was really fun having him out there on this trip. Over the last six months I've seen a lot of requests for the Sword Art Online theme or just something from Sword Art Online and I hadn't yet watched the anime so uh, Landon actually is really geeky and nerdy like me and so it's very fun doing these types of projects with him. He had seen Sword Art Online already. He had watched all three seasons. So he had highly recommended it to me and I knew I was getting all of these requests. So I decided to check it out and I really, really loved the first season. It reminded me a lot of when I used to play EverQuest when I was younger and so I really loved the show and I wanted to do something a little bit extra special for it. So I'm very excited to be sharing it with you guys finally and I appreciate all of the requests because I definitely really love the anime and I'm glad that I got to watch it and I'm glad that I got to do this video so thank you guys for sharing your suggestions with me. As for the music, I chose to do Swordland instead of Crossing Field. Uh, I just felt like it would fit better with the scenery and um, it's a very like epic kind of hardcore sounding song and so I wanted to do that one first. Um, maybe if you guys want I can do Crossing Field in the future so let me know for sure because I would be happy to do more Sword Art Online. I created the backtrack and the arrangement for this in my home studio and then I record at home. I have a microphone set up here and just do all my recording and edits right here in my home studio. For this video I chose to cosplay as Asuna. She is such a cool character from the show. I really loved her in the anime and her costume is pretty intense looking. Uh, it's kind of awkward to be wearing in public, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did have a few problems with the costume as well, some wardrobe issues uh, with the zipper in the back uh, because I was changing in and out of the costume so many different days that the zipper unfortunately did not hold up for the entire shoot and so on the third day it actually broke. Trap, trapped in the costume instead of the game. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate. For filming the video, we didn't really have any big concept in mind. We just kind of wanted to use the beautiful scenery that was there. So a lot of what we did on the first day was just location scouted all around to find the most ideal locations for each video. So that's definitely a big part of filming is just choosing the right locations. What's going to look good on camera, all of that. We were hoping for some more sunny, beautiful looking shots, but the first day was pretty dreary when we shot. The wind looked really awesome, it was kind of blowing the costume a little bit and I thought that looked really nice, but it was a little dreary. We ended up, ended up using a lot of that footage, but it did start raining while we were doing those takes. So we only got a limited number of takes at that location and we had to pack up for rain because Landon's got a really nice camera, and I've got my liquid violin out there and I also you know, just don't want to get totally wet because that's just not going to look great either. That's not the, the look we're going for. The second day we decided to get up really early because there was supposed to be a nice sunrise. It was supposed to be clear skies and just partly cloudy for the day. And it ended up being really, really dreary, like worse than the day before. You couldn't even see the mountains across the lake. It just looked like kind of a gray line across the sky. It wasn't the look we were going for at all. But we were kind of racing against time because I still had two other videos that I wanted to finish. So we took as many takes there as we could in the morning just to have them in case we needed to use it. But in the back of our minds we were thinking we were probably going to try and redo a lot of it the next day. We decided to get up really early again the next morning and that was the day that we were flying out. But our flight was thankfully a little bit later in the afternoon so we tried to get the sunrise shoot in, drove the hour to the lake again in the morning and thankfully it was clear a little bit misty looking which I kind of thought looked cool but you could definitely see the mountains this time and that's like the whole point of that scenery out there it is so beautiful in that Grand Teton area and so I was very very happy that we were able to capture that on film because I wanted you guys to be able to see that like part of the reason that I go out to these locations is because I find them to be extremely beautiful and I wanted to share that with people who maybe can't go visit those places but they can kind of visit it through my video a little bit. So there will be three more videos coming from this video shoot. I'll give you guys a couple of like sneak previews right here. I'm really excited about all of these. I want to say a special thank you to my supporters on Patreon because I definitely would not be comfortable trying to take on like larger video trips like this if I didn't know that my videos were getting supported and so I just am so thankful to those people on there 
who are supporting my videos makes such a huge difference in what I'm able to do and what I'm able to share with people on my YouTube channel. So I just thank you guys so much for the support that you're giving me there. And just, yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and for all the support. And I will look forward to uploading more of these videos from this trip soon with more behind the scenes action. So thanks guys, I'll see you soon. <laughs>